Hello friends, I am going to show a problem on graphical method to solve LPP. So this is a constraint max z equal to 3x1 plus 5x2. This is the objective function. Subjected to constraint, x1 is less than equal to 4. Let us take this as first equation. 2x2 is less than equal to 12 and this is the second equation. 3x1 plus 2x2 is less than equal to 18. This is the third equation. And this is the non-negativity constraint. x1 comma x2 is greater than equal to 0. No, always the non-negativity constraint is written as greater than equal to 0. So uh, we need a certain point to plot the graph. Uh, it is x and y axis points. We can transform this equation as points by the following. x1 equal to, we will write this equation as x1 equal to 4. Here there is no x2 term, that is uh, y term. So instead of uh, y term, we will write it as 0, 4 comma 0. And second equation we can write as 2x2 equal to 12, x2 equal to 6. And here, here there is no x1 term, so we will write it as 0 comma 6. And third equation can be written as 3x2 plus 3x1, 3x1 plus 2x2 equal to 18 here we can't write it directly so we, first we will put x1 equal to 0 here that becomes 2x2 equal to 18 x2 equal to 9 this forms a point 0 comma 9 the, uh, next we will put x2 equal to 0 in this equation and it x2 equal to 0 x 3x1 equal to 18 x1 equal to 6 0 6 comma 0 now we have saw, for saw all the points we found out all the points now one thing remaining is we, we need to plot these points on the graph so draw We will just see that what is the maximum possible uh, x axis and y axis points. Here in y axis, at most we, uh, we can write 9 points. So 9 is the maximum number which comes in the y axis. And here in the x axis, the maximum number is 6. So we have plotted 6 in the, on the x axis. This let it be x1 and this is x2. So the first point is 4, co 4 comma 0. 4 lies here in x axis and there is no y axis. So uh, in graphical method uh, where whenever there is no uh, other axis that is if uh, we have x1 point and is there, there is no x2 point uh, that time here x1 equal to 4. So we plotted here 4 and there is no 0. Uh, I mean there is no y axis. So here we extend the line directly towards the y axis, towards the vertical. And there the next point is 0 comma 6. X is, zero, X is 0 and y is 6. So we don't have other point to connect here. So we extend this line here. The next point is 0 comma 9. Here it is 0 and here it is 9. So we mark a point here and this is 6 comma 0 we mark a point here we join these two lines now we uh, as it is maximization and all these symbols are less than equal to we need to share the region lesser than these points so we take this 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 and this point which is which is less than towards the origin here we marked as a this is b c d and e now we need to find the x and y axis uh, values of these points which we have marked this will be the feasible region F the point a 
as x and y point uh, y values as 0 comma 0 as it, it is in the origin we need to substitute this value in our objective function uh, max z z equal to 3x1 plus 5x2 here we need to substitute so 3 into 0 plus 5 into 0 which is nothing but 0 and value for b is 0 comma 6 we need, uh, I need to substitute this value in this so 3 into 0 x1 is 0 and x2 is 6 so 5 into 6 which is 30 and c value we will do it little later and d uh, here to find c and d I, I need to uh, find the intersection value of this line and this line and even for d uh, intersection of this and this e value we can find it directly as it is 4 comma 0 4 comma 0 substitute this value in this equation so 3 into 4 plus 5 into 0 which is nothing but 12 here c value is uh, c point is, uh, is formed by intersection of this line and this line so this li line the equation for this line is we get by solving the equation 2 and equation 2 and 2 and 3 we need to solve now to fi find the intersection point of c we take the equation 2 and 3 by solving 2 and 3 we get x1 is 2 x1 value as 2 and x2 value as 6 so we write here 2 comma 6 substitute this 2 comma 6 in the objective function so 3 into 2 plus 5 into 6 becomes 36 so I, once again I will repeat 3 into 2 x1 value is 2 and 5 into 6 x2 value is 6 so it becomes 36 and d value we get by solving equation 1 and 3 this line and this line and here we get value as of x and y as x1 is 4 and x2 is 3 we write it here 4 comma 3 substitute this in objective function 3 into 4 plus 5 into 3 the value is 27 and the maximum value we get here is 36 we are finding maximum value because the objective function is of maximization type the final an answer is x1 value is 2 x2 value is 6 with the max z value as 36 thank you guys for watching my video do subscribe for more video tutorials